Hello everyone, welcome back to Kudes Potty Farm. Uh, today I'm going to give you guys an update on our 10,000 bears which has arrived from Poland um, three weeks ago. Uh, as you can see, the bears are looking very healthy, they're eating very well, uh, they're hunting well. Uh, I can't really complain if you look at the bears now. Uh, so far, we've lost about 40. Um, I mean, it's not any big deal now. So basically what happened was most of the chicks were really, really weak uh, from the very first time we got them from the airport. Even though they were very weak, they still managed to hang on till three weeks before we lost some of them and we lost tea from the airport to this place. As you can see, they are actually eating very well. Uh, they are coming back to their room itself now and this thing is going to keep it so we have about 50, uh, sorry 5,000 beds in here at the moment and then we got 5,000 in the next room over there so uh, I just want to do a quick video update you guys where we've been and what has been happening to us so far uh, I've been leaving to the UK on Tuesday so I will be coming back soon to see them it's, it's a bit emotional uh, being with them from day one and uh, saying goodbye to them today. I'm going to Accra tomorrow morning and Tuesday I'm going back to the UK. Uh, but the best and very good hands. I've got a very qualified person who is looking after the best. He's a retired vet as well. He's doing a very good job over here. So uh, I, I'm, I'm really, really relaxed. I know the best and very good hands. Uh, so my advice is if you're going to have this kind of project and you don't have any experience like me, you need to hire somebody who is very experienced, who knows what they're doing. Uh, every day they will call me, update me, here, come with me. As I was saying, uh, these birds are three weeks old. Uh, uh, three weeks old. Uh, we, uh, we have done a lot of things with them. But now they just run free. As soon as they see people, they run towards you. Let's go into the next one and check on the other ones. Let's see how they play the So, there's another 5,000 in here. Uh, come inside. There's another 5,000 in here, which we... Um, I know we have the big shed, which I'm going to go in there and show you guys quickly. We are getting the food here to transfer the best in there. So, uh, in two weeks time, we're going to move all these guys into the next shed over there. I will go there and show you guys. Uh, we are getting the place ready. Let's see how they are making it. Let me, let me try and grab one and let's see. Now they, now they run away from you. Uh, look at her. Look at the beauty. Very, very healthy. Very strong. Very strong. You, you can't complain. And, they're looking really, really good. As I was saying, I ordered the best myself from Holland and um, saying goodbye to my slave queens uh, is very emotional. I was a bit overwhelmed. Uh, it's been a very long journey for me. Uh, a lot of people trying to talk me down. Um, don't go and order 10,000 beds. Uh, you're going to lose your money. You're going to do all these sort of things. But I believe when you have the strength, you have the ability you believe in yourself and you believe in yourself and whatever you want to do uh, i don't think you should listen to people too much the only thing though this is very capital intensive looking after ten thousand beds is not a joke it's not a joke at all and it's not funny if you don't know if you know you don't have the capacity you don't have the ability then my advice is don't go in for this large amount but if you have the money, and then you know you, you're going to be able to feed them, fascinate them, get the right people to look after them, I don't think you should be worried about uh, whatever amount, 10,000, 50,000, whatever you, 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 you know you, you, can, um, you can afford or you can look after them, uh, uh, there's no problem at all. Make sure though, you have the right people around your business, you have, you have a very, very good planning system, uh, as I was saying, uh, I'm a production engineer myself, 
so which have put a lot of things in place uh, like um, there's something called 5S continuous improvement so we'll be doing continuous improvement over here in the farm over here which every week every week wherever we've done we have to improve upon it every single week wherever we've done we have to make sure there's an improvement on whatever decide we, the decision we make whatever things we put in place for these beds we make sure these bowls we clean them here and there if look at the mess in there look they're very very clean and before they feed them they're going to clean them anyway so this is uh, the only thing i have to say though but if that's the only thing that i think uh, is, is something that i would can advise you but if you know you have the ability to look after them you can go for whatever number you want the feed is not cheap the feed is not cheap the feed is not at the moment we are getting our feed from uh, uh, the Ghana National Poultry Farm Association in Accra. The feed is very, very good. Uh, some people are going for pigeons. Uh, pigeons. The thing I find with pigeons is, I've, I've, uh, according to my research, sometimes they don't have feed. So most farmers that are using pigeons, sometimes they'll go there, they don't have feed, and then they have, a, they have an issue. So the Poultry Farm Association is a, is a, is a government project. And I think they are very good. Their feed is very good as well. I mean, look at this bird, three weeks old. Look at how healthy they are looking very strong. So if the feed is not good, you, you, can, you can tell. Look at how strong and big this, uh, these chicks are looking already. So that's the only thing I can say. So please, I'm going to move into the big shed and explain to you guys what we are going to do over there, when we are going to move the birds over there, and then I can take it from there. But at the moment, Goodbye, my slave queens who don't have shown the eating shit everywhere. These guys can eat. These guys can eat. I'll come back soon and see you guys. I'm actually, actually gonna miss you guys. Uh, I'm gonna miss you guys. Let me see if I can pick you. So, as I was saying, um, this is where uh, the best are going to have their final residency. We are getting the place ready. Uh, we got the sawdust on the floor already. Uh, there's more to come. It's a big room. It's a very big room. All the 10,000 beds are going to be in this room in the uh, So we are having a lot of work done uh, on the feeding system, the details. Uh, we are having a lot of work done on them. So uh, we've got two weeks for the best to move from the uh, other shed, which is uh, the shed over there. That is where we've done the feeding system over here. And then we're going to move them into this place. So we're saying we have all the 10,000 beds to be here. We're going to have things on the wall, a million beds all the way on the wall over here, all the way around for them to be laying excellent. So we've got two weeks to get this place ready. So hopefully um, they're going to do this place and get it ready. Now we are waiting for the sold out. So from tomorrow, we're going to start spreading the, the sold out on the floor. Uh, there's some engineers coming. If you can see these things are not straight. So they're coming to hang them properly, tie them properly, and then get them ready, uh, and we are good to go. Uh, um, somebody actually asked me a question about, they want to see the rest of my, the rest of, uh, so it's raining heavily over here, so it's a lot of big noise. Someone was asking me, they wanted to see the rest of my land. Here I um, I'm going to go into the rain, and uh, um, here you can stand, in here and then we can show them the rest of the land right okay. so i've got I've, literally i've got three acre land in total so we just use this part we are building um a warehouse over there uh, uh, it's really so you can stand here so this is the rest of the land all the way to the mountain tree over there all the way over there so this is the rest of our land which we are going to start developing very soon uh, we're going to build another shed all the way over there, which is going to be about uh, 60, uh, 60 feet wide and then 100 feet, uh, 100 feet long. It's going to be a very good one. That's the warehouse we have started over there. We are building a small turret over there for now. We, we're going to build in the middle over there. We are going to build uh, our residency over there. So all this thing is going to start after Christmas. Unfortunately, I have to stop work because uh, I sadly lost my mother. So we have to stop work due to one or two reasons. 
but we're going to start working very very soon uh, the place is not looking a bit like that from tomorrow they're going to clear all this place nicely and then they're going to start work on the warehouse obviously um the best going to start laying very soon too. it's very important that we, we start working on the warehouse and uh, 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 the heavens are open and it's, it's very nice uh, out here and it's very sad i love this place it's a very beautiful place uh, this is what we are doing at the moment please if you have anything to say you can leave your comments and any advice at all you're more than welcome to advise us and tell us uh, if you have any suggestion for us so we've got three acre land i think we've just used about two or three plots subscribe to our channel and uh, let the channel grow uh, there's a lot of things i'm gonna actually have a time sit down explain to people uh, how much it has actually cost us the building wasn't a joke. We've done something different that most Ghanaians don't do. Uh, we've used metal trusses on our building. This building is really, really high because in future we're going to change to um, a battery cage system. Uh, if you watch my previous video, I've said a lot of things about it. So I'm going to sit down, give you guys a breakdown on how we've done and what, what, what we've done so far. We've got nice electricity over here, as you can see. All the way to so by hopefully by next year by ending of next year this place will be looking absolutely beautiful once again please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel this is Nick speaking and uh, I think I'm gonna bring this video to an end it's a very sad day for me uh, because I'm going back to the UK I'm gonna miss this place I love this place man I love this place I can't I can't express 